All right, there are some breaking inputs which have just come in where three users of the Facebook Messenger app have sued Facebook. They say that the social network has violated their privacy by collecting logs of their phone calls and text messages. And for more on this, we're joined in by my colleague Ankit Tuteja. Ankit, what more information do we have on this? Salit, troubles for Facebook don't seem to be coming to an end anytime soon. The company mm -hmm. has already been facing, you know, a lot of pressure from both the US and the UK. It's under immense pressure for, on both the sides of the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. And now three users have sued the company for collecting their user data, for collecting their call history, for collecting their uh, text messages history. Right. Now, uh, Ankit, the question is this. You know, at the time that these three users, like everyone else, at the time that they were signing up for Facebook, they've agreed to the terms and conditions now, is this violative of the terms and conditions that they've signed up for, or is Facebook legally on sound ground? If you talk about legally, maybe not, but at the same time, when we sign up on, a, on an internet service or any online service, be it Facebook, Gmail, or any other service for that matter, we generally do not go through all the uh, privacy policy. We generally do not go through all the terms and conditions of the, uh, mm -hmm. of the app or the service. And having said that, of course, it's not practically possible because the text is written in fine print and it's such a, such a long uh, text that it's practically not possible for users to go through it. So uh, I won't say that uh, it's, it's completely right on Facebook's part to actually uh, not be uh, held responsible for this. You know, morally, the case may stand, but, but legally, can, can these three users who now claim uh, that they've been used, they would have been using this for a fair bit of time and if they were concerned about their privacy then there was absolutely no necessity for them to have signed up on the Facebook Messenger app. So is, is the case even legally tenable in this case Ankit? Sunny, I want to add a point here like uh, there, there are too many layers it doesn't, simple to be, it doesn't appear to be as simple as uh, mm -hmm. one might think because what happens for example if you have a uh, Facebook allows you to uncheck all the uh, permissions okay. so if you uncheck all the permissions and you sign up a new interest in the app then you have to go there again in the settings and uncheck all the permissions again okay. so it's not that once you have unchecked and uh, it's been unchecked forever because okay. we, and, and you know we don't use the service like that once we sign up on a service we do the necessary changes we do the necessary settings and then we continue to use the app. We don't go to the settings again and again. So uh -huh. there's so many layers to the entire process. Absolutely, indeed. And just, just to probe a little further on this, Ankit, the fact of the matter is, you know, Facebook Messenger is such a popular messaging app around the world. There are as many as about 3 billion people who use Facebook. Along with that comes the Messenger app. Now, now the question, of course, is Facebook is going through a lot of explanation that it has to do. There is this Cambridge Analytica scandal that has blown in its face where data that was collected was used for attempting political manipulation in election results in the United States. Has this case been filed on the basis of that or do you think this case taken on a standalone basis has, has any sort of a premise to stand on its own? So definitely it's a big blow to the company as well as its reputation because it's not for the first time that Facebook has been warned for uh, failing to protect user data. Mm -hmm. In the past, past also Facebook has been a uh, question, Facebook has been criticized for failing to protect user data but this time it has become such a big thing because the same set of data was used to uh, influence uh, right. uh, political campaigns to uh, spread propaganda and so much so to win a person, uh, help the person win, a, uh, win an election. So this time it has become, it has been really a major blow to the company and its reputation. Okay, and Ankit, and just before I let you go very quickly on, on this, now they filed the case against Facebook saying that they have, uh, Facebook Messenger app has infringed on their privacy. The fact of the matter is a similar sort of uh, a thing would also be done by pretty much every other social networking site or communication site, beat WhatsApp, beat Twitter. Can any case be filed against any of these other social networking sites as well? Because Similar sort of privacy uh, terms and conditions are applicable even for them. Definitely. Today we are talking about Facebook because the entire scandal broke out. But when we talk about the internet in general, all services work in a similar manner, be it Twitter, mm -hmm. be it Gmail, be it Facebook, be it Snapchat or Instagram for that matter. So the problem is that how do we need to protect user data? Because in today's connected world, it's not possible for, uh, for us to actually delete all the accounts and live in isolation. All right. It's practically not possible for us. What we need here is the strict, we need the stringent data protection laws, which especially we miss in our country. So we need to have like strict laws when it comes to uh, user data and right. protection. Fair enough, Ankit. We'll have to leave there. Thank you very much for joining us. And
getting us the updates on this case that is being filed by three people saying that their privacy has been infringed because they were using the Facebook Messenger app. So as Facebook finds itself in a bit of a super allegations of data breach, we at Vion ask you, the viewers, have you lost trust in the tech companies and the social networking sites following the Facebook scandal? You can log on to our Twitter handle, that is Vion News, and also participate in a poll on the page.